what's new crew welcome back to my channel my name is cassandra if you're new today i'm we're just doing a couple homestead chores a couple household chores whatever you want to call it we are going to be shopping my freezers today i also have a small country store grocery haul for you showing you guys some of the things that i really like to get for my family at our local country store and lots of fun things there. We also are doing a little bit of a pantry restock today with some of those items that I got from the grocery store. And let's go ahead and rewind back to this morning where I am sharing with you guys some of my grocery store items. I want to share my tiny country store haul. I have everything flipped upside down because it has the address of the store on it and the phone number and stuff. And I talked about that same thing when I ordered my pig. I just, it's too close to my house for comfort, so that's why everything is flipped upside down. And we're still gonna talk about things. So these are cherry turnovers. We love their turnovers and their fans. They are fantastic. These are $7.19 a piece. Um, they go off weight, so this one is $7.19. I just flipped it over to check. These are fantastic. There's six in a package, which is perfect for us as a family of six. They're a great breakfast. Sometimes we use them as an after-school snack or an af like a weekend afternoon snack. We'll pop these in the oven. These are fantastic. These are cherry. We've never done cherry before. Typically what we do are the raspberry turnovers. They are the kids' favorite, the raspberry ones. They also sell, they also sell blueberry and apple, which we've done before, but raspberry by far is a favorite, so I figured we'd get a raspberry or we get a raspberry and a cherry for today. One package is $7.13 and one was $7.19. So just for an average price there. These are blackberry and cream cheese fans. These are my favorite, they're delicious. They sprinkle salt on top of these. They are unbelievably delicious. These came to $5.46, but these are all frozen. Put them in the freezers, have them when you want. They're fantastic. I always pick up their bread. I got two loaves of white bread and they're pre-sliced which is awesome these are two the white bread is 275 a loaf still pretty good awesome ingredients very base you can see the ingredients there it's just unbleached flour wheat flour honey salt still some soybean oil or canola canola oil yeast salt very basic this is their cinnamon raisin bread which they are I don't want to say famous for, but like locally here, their cinnamon raisin bread is delicious. Everybody loves it. I always get a loaf. They also sell all of these in freezer loaves, in like freezer logs, and you can rise them and bake them yourselves, which I've done in the past. It's cheaper that way, but I love their pre-made stuff. It's delicious. Raisin bread is $4 a loaf. Same thing, same ingredients, just cinnamon and raisins added to it, delicious. This store is pretty cool because they sell not only stuff that they make personally, but also local products, local small shops, local bakeries. And this is a local coffee bean place that they sell there. I got a caramel cream coffee bean, so these are coffee beans. I got a coffee grinder for Christmas, so I'll grind these up and they smell fantastic. I'm very excited about these. They also sell homemade gummies there. They make these in house as well and they're all really fun shapes. So I don't know if you can tell, but these are little frogs, different color, different flavor. The kids love them. They're fantastic. My husband loves these too. They also make and sell these little turtles and their turtle shells are filled with like raspberry preserves. They're so good. The kids love them. So I got a package of these as well. The turtles are 456 a package. The frogs were 514. It does go off of weight, so it just depends. I have some that are less, some that are more, but that's pretty typical. And then my son picked out a thing of gummy worms. Same thing around. I think the gummy worms were cheaper, like three dollars. And he's snacking on those now. So these are just fun little gummy snacks for the kids. This is another product that they sell from a different local family or local store. It's elderberry jam. My husband loves this, so I got a little thing for him. It was $3.25 for this little thing. And I'll just add it to the shelf for him, and he loves those. Colt also wanted these yogurt-covered pretzels. I said yes, because I was in a good mood today. So he got these. These are like $2 for a little bag of these. And I think I'm going to try to make these. I always get this chicken bouillon base from them. It's absolutely fantastic. A little goes a long way. It's no MSG added. They make it themselves in house they add parsley and some different herbs to it and it makes the best soups the best stews the best chicken alfredo and i was out so i'm always happy to get those then i decided to get this 
cheddar, broccoli, and rice mix. It says two cups with one and third mm -hmm. cup rice blend. So I figured this would be fun. We buy our rice in bulk, and I just thought this would be something different. This was just under $5, just something different. They also sell like their own dehydrated or freeze-dried powders, like cheese powders and all different things. They make their own cheese puffs and they sell all of that. And this is just some of their cheddar cheese that they dehydrate down or freeze dries down, whatever it is, and they add broccoli flakes to it. It's uh, I've never tried it before, but I've heard good things about it from other people in the area. So I wanted to give this a try, figured add this to our rice and have some fun. We started making our own hot chocolate mix and the kids were sad because I didn't have really tiny marshmallows to put in it and guess what I found there? Little tiny marshmallows. Five ingredients in these. They're really tiny, perfect for our bulk marshmallow mix. This was five dollars. So I'll throw this in some of our marshmallow mix. We'll save the rest of it and then next time I have to remake marshmallow mix we'll have it. The very last thing I got was a big thing of blackstrap molasses. I'm going to start making my own brown sugar because we go through so much of it now that I'm making my own coffee creamer and cookies and smoking fish and things. This was $10.95. It's the cheapest I've found. I've been pricing this out for a while and decided to get it. The store also sells bulk things like this, bulk flowers, um, a lot of gluten-free products. During the summer, they sell a lot of their own produce. You can buy chickens from them, meats from local farmers, and sausages, and eggs, and all the things, but this is what I got today, and this haul cost me $81. So there's that. We got our molasses for our bulk cooking, some gummy snacks for the kids, and just a couple other things. So not a whole lot here. We got a coffee jam, three loaves of bread, lots of turnovers and fans, which are delicious. I'm going to have to fight myself not to make one of these Blackberry fans right now because they're so good. But that's my little country store haul for today. I have to do today is check my freezers. I'm going to check my two in the basement here today just because we have seven days left till the end of the month. I need to pull some things out of these freezers. Uh, I just cleaned out the fridge today. I didn't film that, but I cleaned out scraps out of the fridge, brought those down to the chickens, and I have some things that I need to replenish. I don't have any shredded cheese up there. I don't have any lunch meat up there, which we rely on heavily. So I want to pull those out of the chest freezers, but I also want to do a mental check on everything that's in here to meal plan for the last couple days of the month. And also as I sit down to make my meal plan for the month, what I need, um, what I have, things like that, because we did just get a whole or half of a pig, excuse me. I can link that video down below for you if you're interested in that. So a lot of new things came in the freezer this month. I don't have a lot of room. So I want to make sure that I'm eating out of these really well over the next couple of days. Over the weekend, actually what I think I'm going to do while we're down here is take out a whole turkey that I have in one of my freezers that I got for a pretty good price around Thanksgiving. I want to get that out so that over the weekend, probably Saturday, I can put the whole turkey in the roaster pan, roast it, we'll eat off of it that day. I'll make pot pies out of it, something like that. That's going to be another video coming up, so if you're interested in that, subscribe so you don't miss that video when it comes up but we're gonna start in this little freezer here this little freezer is basically my store-bought stuff this is when i go to aldi i kind of just dump the bags in here so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do chicken salad tonight for dinner i'm on my own tonight my husband has night school there are two nights a week right now where i'm on my own and today is one of those nights so i like to do something simple for those nights so i think i'm gonna do chicken salad I like to eat my chicken salad in tortilla wraps. Um, actually, everyone except my husband likes it in tortillas. So we're gonna make chicken salad wraps tonight. And then I have one kid who doesn't like chicken salad. I'll just make them probably a chicken quesadilla before I, once I cook my chicken here, which we're also gonna pull out. I really like to cook my chicken salad chicken in my instant pot. 
I'll shred it in my KitchenAid. And before I add in like my mayo and things like that, I'll take out a little bit of that chicken and use that cooked shredded chicken in a chicken quesadilla for whichever kid wants it. I talk about that pretty often. I don't use, or I don't make special meals very often, but if I'm making chicken salad and some kids don't like chicken salad, that's fine. I have no problem pulling out a little bit of chicken salad and putting it on tortillas, which I'm already gonna have out anyways, a little bit of shredded cheese that we'll pull out of here and have a meal that's different, but not like it took me out of my way to make it. So today's just gonna be one of those days where it's just kind of like that. And I have no problem with that. I'm gonna grab a box really quick because I don't know where my basket is. So I'm gonna get a box and we're gonna start loading it in for stuff to carry upstairs. I also know tomorrow's Friday. We always do some sort of homemade pizza on Friday. So I'm gonna pull out a block or a bag of shredded mozzarella for that. I'm also gonna pull out a bag of mild cheddar to put in the fridge. Typically, I like to have these big two pound bags, one cheddar, one mozzarella in the fridge at all times. We have a ton of slices in the fridge right now, so I'm not worried about that. And then while I'm going through here, I'm also just kind of doing a mental check. What do I have in here that I wanna use up before I go grocery shopping again? And because February is a short month, I know it's only a couple days shorter, but for some reason, every year I always have a lot of extra food heading out of February. I don't know why that is, but we just do. It could also be the fact that it feels like I have a lot more because we just bought in half a pig and my husband's doing, my husband is a steam fitter by trade. So he's working right now in a factory or in some sort of shop. I'm not really 100% sure because my husband's location changes literally day to day. Um, but he's working in some sort of place right now where they have <laughs> discount cheese. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some of the discount cheese hauls he's been bringing home. He can get boxes of cheese or big five pound blocks of cheese for like $3 or $4. And he's been bringing home a lot of cheese recently. So a lot of things are going in here. And that's also why I have a lot of shredded stuff because we've been eating the discount cheese that he's been bringing home. We have been putting some in the freezer. You'll probably see that in the other freezer, but that's kind of the cheese story, I guess, for the month. I'm gonna bring up this bag of blueberries and the kids can, well, I don't know yet actually. Here's my lunch meat, turkey. Ooh, I completely forgot I had this. I'm gonna bring up this um, heart salami as well. That'll be really great for kids' lunches for the next couple of days. The kids love those hard salamis with some cheese and crackers in their lunch. I think the rest of this is just garden produce, which is wild, but a lot of them are these salsa kits. And I was actually thinking these would be a really good tomato soup if I just put this in the crock pot and roast it down and then blended it up. It would be really good. You could also use this. This is exactly what I put in my spaghetti sauce that I canned. Peppers, onions, my tomatoes, throw in a little basil, a little oregano. You can make it into a pizza sauce. So I gotta start using these. I was really excited to put these together during canning season. I've only used one. I used it as salsa and it was delicious, but I wanna start reaching for these more and thinking of these more than just salsa. So I think over the weekend, I'm gonna make this a priority. I think over the weekend, what we could do with some of that cheese that I pulled out is we'll do grilled cheese sandwiches or hot ham and cheese sandwiches with some of that turkey maybe. And I'll put probably two bags of this in the crock pot and blend it up with the immersion blender and we'll have roasted tomato soup I could do that, roast it in the oven maybe, then put it in the crock pot or on the stove and cook it down, blend it up. We might do that, that sounds delicious. So we'll see what these end up being. Got some more turkey, bell peppers, more cheese. There we go. I'm gonna pull up some of these little tortillas. These are what I make or I use for the kids, but I also use these in the kids' lunches. Once again, some of that lunch meat, 
some of that cheese, a pickle in here. I roll it up and the kids love those in their lunch boxes. And uh, my kids that are home during the day, they eat those too for snacks or for lunches. So I'm gonna pull these up. Typically, this is something that I would have done in the middle of the month. But like I said, because February is, I know it's only a couple days shorter, but it happens to me every year. It kind of feels like things get pushed back, which is good because Hopefully that means my March grocery budget, I'll be under budget a little bit and I'll be able to get more long-term storage on the shelf. Possibly, we'll see what happens. My kids get out of school in May this year. So I'm kind of trying to think ahead on that and make sure that I'm stocking up on canned goods, canned fruits, um, some convenience items for the kids on the shelf like ramen and SpaghettiOs and things like that, not things that the kids eat every single day, but those really nice convenience items to have on the shelf when we're coming home from the park or we're coming home from the beach and the kids are starving because they're running around like crazy and burning a lot of calories and just needing more food intake. I love having some of those convenience things on the shelf, boxes of mac and cheese, things like that, where you can just dump some stuff in a pot and it's good to go you're just warming it up or cooking it through so i'm trying to think ahead on that that way i have things stored up that way when the kids get out of school in may it's not like my may and my summer grocery hauls as a whole my budget's going to be blown because i have to buy more food just because they're eating more because it's summer and we're doing a lot of things and we're hiking and we're backpacking and working in the garden and just things so i'm trying to plan ahead on that so that makes me really happy I wanna check the other freezer really quick, just make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And once again, just trying to see what's in it. And don't let me forget, I gotta pull out that turkey. Here is our last freezer. These are little mats for the shelves that my husband is currently building me. We got two six tier heavy wire racks from Sam's Club, they were $200 a piece and they have wheels on them, which is fantastic. We got them for our canning supplies and in true parenthood fashion. We opened the box, started putting one together and then got distracted with kids over the weekend and they still sit, not put together on the floor. We'll get to it this weekend maybe, it just kind of depends. It's not a project that needs to happen right this second, but before they end up being canning shelves, we are going to use them as our seed starting shelves. Typically we would put them upstairs in our dining room and start them there, but this year we have a baby. We have a one year old and a one year old and shelves full of potted plants or potted starts do not mix. So we're gonna start them down here and leave them down here so that she cannot destroy them. So that's the plan with that. And they're on wheels, so they'll be really easy to move around and things, which I'm very excited about. Maybe one day I will have a seed starting room connected to the outdoors so that when it comes time to hardening off plants, I can just roll them from the seed starting room right out onto a patio or something and they'll be able to harden up out there and then I'll be able to wheel them right back in. That's, that's the dream, but we'll see if that ever happens. So let's open this freezer and figure out what we're doing. I want to pull, I want to make sure I'm using that because it's taking up so much room in here and our our typical meat freezer is out in the garage but it's full right now so I had to put some of the pork down here just because it would not fit and it ended up working out anyways because this is our new pork and our old pork is out in the other freezer so I know I need to use the pork that's out there before I come through and start digging out of this pork so it's it's gonna work. But I still have a lot of cabbage down here. I'm not moving through it very fast because I'm the only one that likes cabbage. My kids will eat it here and there. They'll eat it if it's sauerkraut, but I preserved it this year. Um, shredded, blanched, and in the freezer. And I've been using it for like buttered, buttered cabbage, stews, soups, things like that. And the kids aren't a huge fan of that. So that hasn't, I've been slow on that. The other thing we've been slow on is our Brussels sprouts. I made these last night with bacon, trying to try a new way for my kids to eat them and my husband, not a huge fan. My husband actually said that um, the Brussels sprout sprouts ruined the flavor of the bacon. So I ate them, me and Cleo, 
are the only ones that liked the Brussels sprout. So I don't think these are gonna have a permanent home in my garden, but they were really fun to grow. They were super easy to grow and they gave a lot of yield. I've got a gallon bag off of every plant that I planted, which is great if you like a lot of Brussels sprouts and not great if you don't like a lot of Brussels sprouts. So I think what I'm gonna do to use these up is I might end up thawing these out and buzzing them in my food processor and making a slaw out of these with some cabbage and some carrots and eating them on like pulled pork sandwiches throughout the summer or putting them on top of like fish tacos or something like that. I've gotta find a way to use these things. So if you have ideas, please let me know. If push comes to shove, I might, I might have to buzz these in my food processor and make it into powder and put that powder in different foods, different fruits in, or different fruits, in different um, stews and soups, maybe in some smoothies and get rid of it that way. So nothing's gonna go to waste, but just trying to figure out how to get these out of my freezer before they go bad. But they're still in really good shape. There's a little bit of frost in there, but definitely not freezer burnt. So they're looking good. A lot of discount cheese is in here for my husband. A lot of it, which is great. So don't let me buy any cheese when I go to Aldi for once when I'm grocery shopping. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me and do a little bit of homestead chores. Got a lot done today and it was 50, it's 51 degrees right now. We went out this morning, I showed you guys my grocery haul and I cleaned up the kitchen, restocked some of my pantry items that really need to be restocked, added those marshmallows to our homemade hot chocolate mix and then we played outside. The rest of the day came in laid baby down for a nap i pulled everything out of my freezers that i'm going to need for the couple days which is fantastic and i think i'm going to go upstairs and prep my chicken salad right away that way i can put it in the fridge and it'll be cold for dinner which is actually great because it's really warm out today so chicken salad is just like a good meal and i wanted something that we could wrap up or like a quesadilla that we could just hold go outside and enjoy this anomaly of 50 some degree weather in february in wisconsin because that never happens so the kids were very excited this morning when i told them that it was gonna be 50 some degrees so we all know we're playing outside tonight very excited about that so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me doing a couple homestead chores around today i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i hope that you guys are getting some of this fantastic weather that we're getting here in the midwest and i will catch you guys in the video